This is Eagle Al, and today I will be talking about D Hop. D Hop has been released by the Arizona Cardinals, which I believe everybody know. But D Hop did come out with a wish list, and Eagles are definitely on that wish list. But let's get straight into it. Hey, what's up? It's Moro Ojimo. Shout out to Eagle Al, the biggest Eagles fan out there. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All right, so DeAndre Hopkins, this is the big news. Um, he was released. I did not expect that because D Hop is still, if you don't put him top five, he's still like a top 10 or a tad bit outside of the top 10, according to other people's list. I still believe he's top 10. He's just outside of the top five for me, even at this point of, of his career. I know he dealt with injuries here and there, but D Hop is still a dog. He's still a dog. And. He had to tell in his, of his career. So um, at this point, he wants to win the ring. That's what it sounds like. He's not money chasing, according to him. He's ring chasing uh, uh, somewhat. He not saying those words, but he wants to play with an organization that wants to win. So shout out to Thomas R. Peterson. I believe he said this wish list on I Am Athlete. I'm like, you know what team or what he's looking for? What team he'd like to play with. So these are the things that's on D Hop's wish list. Stable management. We know we got that. Jeffrey, um, Jeffrey Laurie, Howie Roseman. We we know it's stable there. We we know we're good as far as general manager ownership. It's not wacky or anything like that. So that's a check. A QB who brings everybody on board. Come on. And loves the game. Come on. That's Jalen Hurts. That he might as well just put Jalen Hurts right there, and a good defense, which we have. We have a good defense. We definitely have a good defense. So he also, let's read this off. He also listed Jalen Hurts second on his list of QBs he would want to play with. So should the Eagles call him? I I believe that's the question I'm asking. You can test the waters, but. I'm not really let's go get D hop because to me, D hop, I don't see him taking a role of being the third option or really even being the second option. I think he got to go to the team where it's established and known he's the guy and he's playing outside because I actually like our core. I know a lot of people don't like Quez, but I think, they skill sets just mesh all together. Quest got to come down with the ball, but adding D hop, I think that's too many personalities too, to be honest. Smitty want the ball. AJ, we know he had a whole fit of not having the ball one game. I believe that was against the giants and they pulled them out because he wanted some catches and some yards, some touchdowns and AJ caught a whole attitude about it. That that's just too many personalities. Uh, Dallas Goddard, will he be okay being a third fiddle? No, that's D Hop. He's a top tier receiver in his league. He's not going to be okay with that. But if there was a quarterback who could handle three big personalities, it would be Jalen Hurts. Because you got to remember, Jalen Hurts was in college. He had Rugs. He had. Um, Devontae Smith he also had Jerry Judy I believe they was all all three of them was there at the same time and Jalen Hurts was commanding that offense they had a Josh Jacobs so if there was any quarterback that could handle multiple receivers with big personalities it would be Jalen Hurts but why go through that why go through that man you you got to get a guy if we're going to get another receiver you got to get a guy that's okay with his role and, yeah, you just got to get a guy that's okay with his role. I just don't see D-Hop being okay with being a third fiddle. Imagine if we did D-Hop how we did Quez Watkins. He get three targets a game. Now, do I believe D-Hop would t- catch them three targets a game or two targets a game? Absolutely. But D-Hop is a volume guy. Like, he's a volume guy. So, that, that that's my thought on D-Hop. 
I will appreciate it. I'm not gonna be the guy if we sign him. Oh man, why did we do that? That's gonna mess up. It ain't gonna mess up nothing if we sign D Hop. It's definitely not. But am I like let's uh, nah? I, I, I'm not gonna go too crazy if we decide to sign him. And if we go somewhere else, is it is what it is to me. Him being released, it's it screams more Kansas City to me than Philadelphia Eagles. Now, if it was like I was last year before we got AJ Brown, I would say definitely go get him. But man, eh, I'm okay with D Hop. But if we do, it's okay. I'll be okay with that too. But I would not be surprised on how we rose, man. Always looking to add pieces. I won't be surprised at how we Roseman just call him, see what he want, see if it's too much, or if it's just something how we Roseman can't say no to. We'll see. But this definitely screamed more like Kansas City to me. Like he might go there. Uh I don't want him to go to New York, but I could see something like that happening if he uh if he wanna be the number one guy. But New York I don't really see them going anywhere. I don't see Dallas. He basically said no to them. So we'll see. To me, like I said, screen Kansas City and possibly Baltimore. Those two teams. I see. But this is Eagle Eye, man. That's my thoughts on DeAndre Hopkins. I'm a-